All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create your very first table with Postgres. So to create a table, you need to write a command such as this one, create table. So this is pure SQL, and then you define the actual table name. And then inside of parentheses, you can have as many columns as you want. So the columns have few attributes. So the very first one, that you must have is column name. And then the second one that you also must have is the data type. So the data type for that column name. And then if you have any constraints, you should also specify them. So I'm gonna explain what this means in a second. But for now, let's say that, let's say that you want to represent people in your database. So you would have a table like this. So you have a table called person. So you would write create table person. And then inside you see that I define the actual columns that this table called person has. So the first one is ID and the data type of it is int. So integer, meaning that it's numbers. And then I have first name, which is var char. So var char, it's pretty much just characters. And then 50, means that the maximum length that this column called first name can have is 50 characters long. The same for last name. Then I also have a column called gender and this as well is var char, so characters up to length six. And then I have date of birth and the data type is timestamp. Maybe we don't actually need a timestamp because timestamp includes the full date, including our minutes and seconds. So maybe we can use a date instead of timestamp, but I'm gonna show you that in a second. So this is it. So let me show you a list of all data types that you might encounter with Postgres. This is the documentation for data types within Postgres. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below so you can access this page. But if I scroll down, you can see that you have a bunch of information. So table of contents. So just let me scroll down because it will be easier for you to see right here. So you can see that the data types that you have can be big int. So this is a signed eight byte integer, big serial, booleans for true or false. You have characters, you have var char. So this is the alias that I was using. And then you have date. So this is the one that we should actually use for date of birth. So as you can see, it only contains year, month, and then the actual date. And then you have double, you have JSON, you have money. So this is when dealing with, with money. So any currency amount, you have numeric. So for decimal, so this is the actual alias. So you can say numeric or decimal. And then you have some other ones. So you have like small int, you have serial. So serial is a four byte integer, but this is special because the auto increments automatically for you. So I'm gonna show you how to use that in a second as well. And then you have text. So when you have text, there is no max length. And then you have others such as time and then timestamp. So right here, you can see that the timestamp contains the actual date plus hour, minutes, and seconds, and plus the actual milliseconds. And then you also have view it, which is a good one for IDs. And then you can also have XML data. So go ahead and navigate to this page to familiarize yourself with all of these data types. This is all for now. In the next video, we're going to create the actual table. Join me there. See ya.